Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. We're going to go through Bookmap and um, uh, what Bookmap is displaying here for you. Uh, now, uh, risk disclaimer first, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Um, now, we have the platform details webinar uh, now uh, at this moment, and uh, in about um, 25 minutes, we have the uh, Bookmap Advanced webinar, which is for those in trial and uh, current customers. Uh, so that uh, we go beyond just the platform details. We go about uh, looking at and um, analyzing the order flow in the live market. Uh, and this is where the rubber really meets the road. Uh, you guys will be able to start to integrate that into your trading. Uh, once you understand the platform, uh, and um, uh, then, then you'll start to understand the order flow and using Bookmap like a, like a pro. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to, we usually do this, uh, I'm going to paste in here the link to the webinar uh, for the advanced, which is in 25 minutes. Uh, and uh, so you guys get a sneak peek of what that looks like. All right. So it's just uh, just for today. Uh, and um, ah, some other kind of uh, housekeeping uh, stuff to cover. Next week, uh, we are having the Pro Trader webinar series. Okay, so uh, we we won't be having the um, uh, either of these webinars, uh, platform details nor the uh, uh, advanced. Uh, instead, we're going to have professional traders come in uh, all week long. Uh, I believe, except except for Monday, uh, and um, uh, they're going to cover how they look at Bookmap and trade. Okay, so. Uh, it's great that you guys are in these webinars and um, uh, go through the platform details, but uh, uh, it's, it's really insightful to see how other traders are also using Bookmap. All sorts of different trading styles, but they want to understand the order flow. Okay, so uh, that can offer to a, a lot of insight. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me see here. I think uh, can, we'll, we'll send out a, um, uh, a link to that. Uh, I think I have it here as well. Just a minute. And I can I can give it to you right now. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so if you want to register for that right now. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So there it is. Uh, so there's a couple of different links in there for you. All right. Um, and um, okay. Uh, so more information about Bookmap. Uh, if you're interested, go to bookmap.com. Uh, once you are in trial, you have access to a lot of the free resources. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach, reach us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, uh, here's where you can find Bookmap. Let's just go to the home page here. Scroll up to the top. Uh, just uh, hit the Explore button. Okay, uh, come down here and you, you'll see some intro videos. Watch these. They're they're very short, but it just give you um, a, an overview of what Bookmap is all about. We actually have a new page here called Usages, um, and uh, you can understand all the different usages of Bookmap here. Okay, uh, this uh, this product is uh, is is pretty diverse. I mean, uh, there are a lot of quants uh, using Bookmap, looking for very specific things. Uh, automated strategies or API, you can uh, have your own strategies here in Bookmap, uh, and um, uh, yeah, real time monitoring uh, and um, uh, debriefing. This is uh, using that replay mode. Okay. Extremely fast execution here. Uh, that can be, uh, I can uh, detail that just by using some of these automated strategies and show you that. Uh, but uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, and then just the visibility here. And that's mostly what we're going to cover in this webinar. Okay. Just the basics. All right. Uh, anyway, it's a new page. Uh, let's see. Con connectivity. Let's click here. Uh, and um, uh, you will need your own data provider. Uh, and these are some of the uh, data providers and brokers that we support. Okay. And let's click on not equities on price. Okay. Here's where you can find book map. All right. So there's two versions, basic and advanced 49 per month, 99 per month for the advanced. 
They are billed quarterly and you get a 14 day trial period. Now, what you also get here is uh, the ability to trade from the chart. Okay, that is not on the basic. Uh, and then all of these add-on indicators and these are different add-on indicators uh, that we're uh, accustomed to. This is more geared for the order flow. Okay, so uh, that's the difference in the price. Uh, now, if you are interested in bundling the basic or advanced, okay, uh, with DX feed, uh, then you can with these two options here. Okay, it's just uh, it's a it's a data feed, and it is only for U.S. equities. Okay, so uh, it's not for futures. Right, it's a special deal we have with uh, Dev Experts. Uh, we're not a data provider; it's through them. We just have um, uh, this relationship and offering it as a package deal. All right. Okay, uh, you can follow us here on Twitter for the most up-to-date information. Uh, and then our, our YouTube page. Uh, let's go over that quickly. Uh, here's another uh, intro video. And then features and components. I would watch these to get up and running here. Uh, and, uh, and you can see the rest of them, some of the selected webinars we have, uh, et cetera. All right. All right, so let's jump in here and look at Bookmap. God, nice move on, uh, on NASDAQ. Um, this was seen in pre-market, which was uh, really nice. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, let's cover let's cover the Nasdaq. All right, so uh, let me zoom out here. Okay, and let me uh, uh, way I'm going to cover this. Uh, what book map is showing you uh, for those of you who are new here uh, is just go through the basics. Okay, so uh, we'll start off by peeling off layers of information and then adding them back on. Actually, volume bars we want, indicators no, heat map no. Okay, so let's change this into five minute candlestick chart. That would be better. Okay, all right, so here's a five minute candlestick chart. This is something we're very accustomed to looking at, uh, and um, uh, we, we understand open, high, low, close of a five minute period. The problem with the candlestick chart is there is a lot of information that is simply not displayed and at your disposal. Uh, we have a volume sub column or a sub chart here that you can see. Uh, that's good, that's insightful. Uh, however, there's all sorts of questions here that are unanswered. Uh, where did the volume take place within this five minute period? That is essential to understand. Uh, how, how much volume traded? Uh, ex exactly uh, what type of volume? Was it aggressive buying or aggressive selling? That all offers a lot of insight, okay? So uh, that is lacking uh, here uh, in this candlestick chart. So let's um, start to turn on some layers here. And uh, I wanna look at some sub, um, or some structure here as well. And that is lacking in this candlestick chart. Um, so uh, we'll just turn on the uh, best bid and offer and we can start to see uh, all these little microstructural areas like right in here, okay? Uh, or uh, we can see the, uh, the, the basing above this uh, orange line here, okay? We can see the breakout already and the kind of move to the upside and then we see the follow through here. Uh, that's really kind of lacking here in that candlestick chart. We really don't see a lot of this uh, structure, okay? We certainly don't see this uh, kind of head and shoulders pattern up here uh, on, the, uh, on the candlestick chart, okay? We just see a wick. Uh, and then uh, we don't even get a retest of that area. Uh, we just uh, continue down and uh, we retest actually uh, the, um, uh, not not only the 930 open, but uh, this kind of pre-market area here. And uh, that's where I, I can't wait to show you guys because uh, we saw just massive liquidity lined up here. Okay, so we'll get to that. Uh, but we're first going to add on the volume. Okay, and we're going to get insight regarding the volume. Okay, let's zoom into this area here. I just click on the hand tool, left click hold and drag, and then just use my center mouse wheel to zoom in really quickly. Okay. Okay. So here's this breakout candle in your five minute chart. Okay. Where's the volume on this five minute candle? Okay. It's, it's, it's represented here in book map actually uh, with the sub chart. So it's a, this is actually a little different than the way it is on a, uh, uh, you know, a candlestick chart uh, because we, we actually are, showing you a little more insight here with the uh, the volume subchart. Um, okay, so what I wanna cover is like, where where is the majority of that volume? What type of volume is it? And where, where did it take place? Okay, so down here 
Uh, although we're above this little structure here, this microstructure, okay, and these can these two candlesticks, and we can see the um, uh, the volume starts to give us insight right in here. Okay, we see the aggressive buying taking place, and more buying at a higher high. This is bullish. Okay, uh, we get a retest back down to this little microstructural area. All of this information is lacking in the candlestick chart. Okay, it just doesn't give you that. Uh, transparency. Uh, we hold above this little microstructure right here. Okay, and look at the buyers come back right back in. This is bullish. Okay, uh, and um, uh, and we can see that uh, they're sweeping the book higher. Uh, they're taking uh, price to higher highs. Uh, they're taking all of the liquidity here, uh, and uh, a lot of buyers are jumping in. Okay, uh, that's where a book map can be uh, helpful for you is start to understand this traded volume. Okay, uh, the um, uh, let, let's zoom into uh, an area here and uh, I just want to show you. Let's look at the high here. Okay, and I just want to cover what type of volume a book map is showing you here. Okay. Uh, because uh, on the historical best bid and offer, which is the historical bid is the green line, historical offer is the red, uh, where the volume takes place. Okay, uh, this is the uh, uh, we're showing the aggressor classification of volume. Uh, a market buy uh, is a green dot. Okay, so they cross the spread. It's aggressive because they hit the market buy button and took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, market sell but, uh, button was hit here, and a transaction took place here on the uh, on the best bid. Okay, this happens, of course, all day long, uh, and uh, this is a, a true representation of what's occurring here in the marketplace. Now, you can also see the way we're representing this volume here. Uh, these are small little dots. We can use the rollover tool, okay, and we can see exactly here the date, the time, the liquidity here on the ask, on the best ask, and the volume. This was for eight contracts. Okay. This one here was for seven. Let's continue to zoom in. That we might see more contracts broken up. Yeah, when we do. Okay. So note how as I start to zoom in. Okay. So I, I see eight here now. As I start to zoom in, we break apart all of that volume. Okay. In this case, it's only two. So this is actually what took place here was one trade for seven, and another trade for one. Okay. But you can see how we aggregate it as we zoom back out. So we're giving you the overall picture of the volume. Okay, let's look at this one. This one for seven. Okay, and again, this was broken up uh, into actually several different trades. Okay, we see volume of two here, volume of one, two, one, and one. Okay, for a total of seven within this viewable chart range. So you can see you're getting every single piece of uh, data and market activity. Uh, but, you know, we're looking here at, uh, you know, millisecond level here, or I'm sorry, microsecond level here. We're not trading off of millions of seconds. Okay, we don't really need that uh, level of, um, uh, 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 of data in detail unless you're a quant and you are trading uh, algorithmically and you want to see where your algorithm is um, uh, getting filled and how it's performing, then Bookmap is going to be uh, fantastic. Okay, it's also going to be great to, uh, for those of you just uh, uh, discretionary traders uh, trading, uh, because you will be able to um, debrief your trading uh, in, in Bookmap's replay mode and start to understand where these took place. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's the, um, uh, the traded volume. Now, as I start to zoom out, look how, okay, we, we're consolidating uh, and aggregating all of this information into something more viewable and understandable, okay? And in the end, if I zoom out, uh, we get we get that kind of pie display here that you can see. Not, not up here, because it was mostly, uh, yeah, you can see the pie display. Um, let's look at a clearer one, though, here. Okay, so mostly selling was here, okay, in this overall pie display. The volume here was 336 uh, contracts, and uh, roughly three quarters of that is aggressive selling, okay, and a quarter is aggressive buying. So that's the way we um, 
uh, display the uh, the volume, uh, and um, and that is uh, very very insightful. Okay, uh, essential uh, for making good trading decisions. Okay, now um, let's uh, let's cover now uh, the uh, the heat map. Okay, uh, and uh, because volume is important, uh, but there is another side to it, and that is the um, uh, the bid and the offer, the auction. Okay, where are traders lining up to trade? We want to know that information. That is completely lacking in this chart right now. Okay, this is going to be lack. This is data that is going to be lacking in basically the majority of charts that uh, we're looking at. Uh, we're, we want to understand the liquidity. Most of us understand liquidity by looking at the dome. Okay, if I zoom into the current market, here's our dome. Okay, the COB column right here. Okay, uh, you can see best bid and offer right here, and you can see the liquidity on the offer and the liquidity on the bid. Okay, right at the 6,000 level, this is what we were looking at yesterday, in fact. Uh, interesting or important level, uh, no question. Uh, and um, historical or current best bid and offer is also here in this window. Okay, we can see the um, uh, best bid is the dashed green, best offer is the dashed red, and this number is the last traded volume. Okay. NASDAQ has a little spread to it, as you can see. Uh, every now and then we uh, uh, there's just less liquidity compared to the S&P, and you'll, you'll get a spread every now and then. Uh, and you can see that spread here in the historical best bid and offer as well. All right. You can see it very clearly. Anyway, uh, look at the aggressive buying coming in right back in. All right, pulling the pulling price up, initiated buying. Right for those of you looking at uh, volume profile, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, auction uh, market theory. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, understanding the liquidity is um, uh, the next level uh, of the order flow. Understanding these uh, these areas here. Uh, we want to understand where they're lining up to bid an offer, how much, how long did they stay here, what about other traders, are they front running those traders that with the high liquidity or are they uh, stepping back and away from those areas? Uh, we want to understand that. We want to understand how the liquidity is behaving because the market needs liquidity to trade. Uh, that's just how it works. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, that's... Um, yeah, we can we nice still still moving here nicely to the upside here uh, in Nasdaq, um, and uh, what I want to cover here uh, is the uh, the heat map, the other side of that liquidity. So let's turn on the heat maps, okay? So, and this is where it can get confusing. Uh, with um, it just looks like perhaps a lot of noise on the chart. So let's describe it here. It's very simple. Uh, high areas of liquidity here in the limit order book, uh, they're going to be um, given a graphical representation in this window here with a heat map. Okay, so high areas of liquidity uh, have, like, look at the, this uh, 6,008 uh, 6, up here, 174, 180 contracts. All right, and it's bright white. Okay, so that's the graphical representation of it. Okay, you'll see, look at how the grayscale is changing down here when the when the numbers change. Okay, now where it gets interesting is all of that information here in the heat map uh, is recorded and then transposed onto the chart. Okay, so look at these striations right here in this area. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. And that's, a, that's what we're looking at here, right up to uh, 6,008, wow. Strong, strong market. Um, okay, so uh, so you can uh, let's let's stop this for a second and let's just go through it. Like if I hover over these areas uh, with using this uh, rollover tool, uh, I can see what the liquidity was. Okay, it tells me here. It says it gives me the date, the exact time here in the millisecond level, uh, and then um, the uh, what was on the bid. Okay, 67 contracts. Then it got bright here. It was went to 76 contracts. Then it got dark again and went down to 60, 62 here. Uh, and then it got bright again to 72. Okay, so that that's what the, the striations here in the heat map are showing. All right. And um, uh, now uh, the insight here. And I'm going to cover um, 
uh, a concept about uh, the distinction between longer term high liquidity and uh, and shorter term uh, liquidity uh, a bit later because that can be confusing for a lot of traders. Okay, but um, uh, what I want to show, and I'm going to take the candlesticks off the map at this time. Okay, because we saw this in the pre-market, it was just just beautiful. Um, okay, so here here's pre-market 9:20 uh, Eastern time, 10 minutes before the cash open. Look at the high levels of liquidity underneath. Okay, uh, and I was demoing this to somebody in real time, and you can see I br I, I um, uh, put this line in here at 62. We see nice kind of move to the upside and acceptance above here. Okay. And then, uh, and then we can see the move uh, here uh, to the upside. Now, the the traded volume really didn't tell me much in here. Okay, this liquidity map told me a lot. All right. So those of you looking at um, uh, the traded volume, you probably would have missed this. Okay. But the liquidity map actually gives you a lot of insight here. Okay. So uh, uh, let's uh, let me just take off the heat map for a moment and and see what I mean. Okay. I don't really see anything. I mean, I see a little bit of uh, aggressive buying here, but it's not a lot. Um, and um, uh, yet, why is price holding up here? I see aggressive selling coming in here, right? And we just kind of go sideways though. Well, it's because there's heavy liquidity underneath and that is completely lacking in this chart. It would be completely lacking here uh, in the, in the, uh, in the dome as well. You would have to understand that um, uh, in the dome, uh, there was high liquidity here uh, several minutes previously, and you, you wouldn't know that though, uh, unless you remembered it, marked it down, knew that this was an important area. Uh, instead, uh, Bookmap's giving you an insight with the historical uh, plotting of that uh, uh, of the dome of that dome data, and here it is. All right. And then uh, you can see 925. Now it's looking pretty good with the traded volume. Okay, we see the uh, the move to the upside. High liquidity comes in underneath here at 65. Uh, and then uh, this is still before 930. Nice move to the upside. Uh, and then um, we see uh, uh, 930 open and uh, a lot of volume starts to come in here. Okay, so it's a different picture after 930. Um, but um, uh, you know we see the move, the initial move to the upside. Uh, and um, actually kind of have expectations for this liquidity to be get tested uh, by the traders. And we indeed did. Okay, here, here's that retest. Okay, but look again at the heat map. Okay, look at the traders lining up. In fact, even more bullish here in this area. They're lining up before, ahead of uh, this area here at 59.60. This is giving you insight. Okay. Uh, and uh, we see we see what happened. Okay, we see the move to the upside, uh, and then look at how they throw more liquidity at a higher level. This is still bullish. Okay, uh, in fact, a little bit of a flip of the book. High liquidity here flips over to the other side, and we get tested right here. Okay, they stay in the book, and price moves to the upside. Okay, and uh, and goes through into this area, and we can see how a lot of this liquidity got filled, but we can also see how they're they're pulling it as price comes up. They don't want to be uh, uh, sellers up here. They start pulling and adding to higher levels. It This remains in the book, just in the heat map. Uh, this is, their intent to trade is not at these levels, it's higher, okay? Some of it remains, uh, but um, uh, this is still showing bullish uh, activity, all right? Okay, guys. Uh, just that, that's the basics. Uh, some nice stuff here in the NASDAQ. Um, I'm going to cover a lot more of it um, in the uh, the webinar that starts in just a couple minutes. So uh, I'll, I'll repeat a little bit of this, but I, I'm going to start off with yesterday's action, uh, something we saw. And um, uh, actually, it did not turn out the way that uh, that we thought. All right. But uh, I'll cover it, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But, uh, wow, ni nice moves here. Nice moves. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, we'll, we'll uh, end it here. Uh, I gave you the link to the advanced uh, webinar. Uh, let me give it again if you, uh, if you want to uh, attend that. 
Okay, and then I also gave you the link there. That's that second link that's in the in the chat there, um, and that is for the uh, just a moment here. That is for the uh, uh, Pro Trader series next week. Okay, here we go. Here is the advanced webinar link for those of you who came in a little bit later. Okay, so I'm going to start this webinar in uh, just a minute here. Okay, there you go. It's in the it's in the uh, chat box, and uh, we'll see you there. Okay, all right, guys, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.